Hello children. How are you? Hope you all are fine. In the previous chapters, we did the teaching of food and its importance. Yes. In connection with that, we will start yet another chapter in science today. That is teeth and microbes. Now tell me, you know all the uh, importance of the food, right? You, you eat food for the energy and you eat food to grow. Now, what happens when you start eating? The first thing you do is when you put in uh, the food in your mouth, you start chewing it. First of all, you cut it. Yes. So, what is important for all these things? That is teeth. Yes. So, first we will discuss about the teeth. So, teeth are very important part of your mouth. And they are important part when you eat. So, they help us to cut the food. They help us to chew the food so that it becomes soft and it is easy to digest. And teeth also help us to speak clearly. Yes. So, see here. Teeth are the important part of our mouth. They help us to cut and chew up the food we eat. And they also help us to speak clearly. This is the importance of teeth. Now, there are two type of, two set of teeth that we get, that we get in our lifetime. Yes, first is milk teeth, another is permanent teeth. Milk teeth are how many in number? 20. And permanent teeth are 32 in number. Yes, now let, it, let us understand more about the sets of teeth. See, now when you were small, when you were born, you can ask your mother or you can also see your pictures. You were not having any teeth at the time when you were born. Yes, the teeth began to grow when you were some six months old. Yes, from six months old, your teeth began to grow one by one. Hmm? Those teeth are known as milk teeth. What they are known as? Milk teeth. And then up to the age of 3 years, you got many milk teeth. How many milk teeth you got? 20. So you got the milk teeth at the age of 3. And then what happens? After that, the milk teeth begins to fall one by one. You also must be observing that your teeth are falling one by one. Yes, na? Yes. So, when you become at, of age 6 years, the milk teeth begins to fall one by one. And like that, all the milk teeth will fall one by one. And in its place, you will get a new teeth. New set of teeth you will get. And that will be... A permanent set of teeth. Yes. Permanent means the teeth which will last long whole your life. So, once your milk teeth begins to fall, you get a new set of teeth that are known as permanent teeth. And they will be 32 in number. Understood? So, in the beginning there are no teeth. Then one by one at the age of 6 months, you get the teeth. By the age of 3, you get all 20 milk teeth. And then the milk teeth starts to fall one by one. And by the age of 6, you, you, are, uh, you will have no milk teeth. And then you will, uh, then you will have a permanent set of teeth. Yes, at the age of 6, you, your milk teeth begins to fall. One by one. So, and then in its place, you will get a permanent set of teeth. They will be 32 in number. Now, all the teeth 
in your mouth are not singing. You just open your mouth in the mirror and you try to see. No, um, they are not sick. All teeth are not sick. Why? Because there are different types of teeth in our mouth. They are incisors, canines, premolars and molar. You should also repeat after me. Incisors, canines, premolars and molars. These are the four types of teeth that are present in our mouth. Now we will discuss more about each type of teeth. Look here. You can see the picture. See the. See. The front teeth. When you open your mouth. The front four teeth. Are on the upper jaw and lower jaw. You know what is the upper part of our mouth is known as upper jaw. And. And. See, this is the upper jaw and this is the lower jaw. Now you get teeth on both these jaws. Yes, so in the upper jaw, the front four teeth are known as incisors and lower jaw also. So upper jaw and lower jaw, uh, four front teeth are known as incisors and they, are, they help us to cut the food and bite into the food. See, you, you just imagine if you are eating an apple. Hmm? So, first of all, you will start cutting with these uh, teeth. So, they help us to cut and bite into the food. And they are eight in number. Four in upper jaw and four in lower jaw. So, it makes them eight total. So, there are eight incisors in our mouth and they are also known as cutting teeth. Why? Because they help us to cut the food. Another type of teeth are canines. See, canines are, are total four in number. They are present in either side of the incisors. Two on the upper jaw, two on the lower jaw and they are sharp and pointed. Yes, the teeth which are present I, on the either side of incisors. One at that side, one at this side. So, two in the upper jaw, two in the lower jaw. That makes them four. And they are sharp and pointed teeth. Why they are sharp and pointed? Because they, are, they help to tear the food. You understand? When you want to tear, something is hard. And if you want to tear, you will use this teeth. They are known as canines. Yes. So, they are the tearing teeth. They are also known as tearing teeth. And they are four in number. Two on the upper jaw. Two on the lower jaw. Now, you know, the animals, the, uh, the carnivorous animals, those who eat the flesh of the animal, other animals, they, are, they have these canines more, pow more powerful and more stronger than than the humans huh? like tiger lion even dog they have got sharp big big canines okay why because they are carnivores and they they eat the flesh of other animals so they want to tear into the flesh so they use this carni uh, these canines so in humans there are four canines in total and the, you can see the picture of canine also. It is sharp and pointed tooth in each side of the incisors. Okay. So, there are four canines in total. Now, next and they are also known as tearing teeth. Next teeth we will discuss is the premolars. So, next to the canines there are two premolars. Mm -hmm. So, there are two on either side. So, it makes four on the upper jaw, four on the lower jaw. So, there are eight premolars in total. Eight premolars we have in our mouth and they are bigger, stronger and wider than the other teeth. Why? Because they are used to crush and grind our food. Okay, once you have taken a, taken a bite, once you have to, uh, taken a bite and tear the food, 
then you will take it inside and start chewing it when you chew this premolars help them help the food to crush to be crushed and climb so they are also known as crushing teeth and they have a wider surface so that it is easy for you to grind the food so they are bigger stronger and wider and there are total eight premolars in our mouth four on the upper jaw four on the lower jaw and they are wider and they are also known as crushing teeth one more type of teeth is see molars there are three molars next to each set of premolars after premolars there are the molars and there are three in number on either side so that there are six molars on the upper jaw six molars on the lower jaw so there are total 12 molar teeth they are also used to grind the teeth in food they are also known as grinding teeth and they are the strongest teeth in your in your mouth they are the strongest one and they help to uh, chew uh, grind and mash the food nicely so that the food is food is the uh, is uh, will transfer into a soft ball of uh, pulp like okay so they help you to grind and mash the teeth which you have eaten into a soft ball so that it is easy to digest okay it becomes pulp like your food becomes pulp like and then you can easily swallow it and digest it so there are 12 molar teeth six on upper jaw and six on the lower jaw and they are the strongest teeth in your mouth there are total 12 molar now see here here is the total arrangement that is shown in our mouth you can see in the picture first are the incisors okay four on the upper jaw four on the lower jaw then here canines see down here are the canines okay two upper two lower jaw two upper jaw so four canines then are the premolars. See here, premolars. Premolars, two, two, means four on upper jaw, four on the lower jaw. And then finally are the molars. There are six on the upper jaw, six on the lower jaw. So there are, if you add up, they all make 32 teeth in your mouth. There are also uh, some molars you get at the uh, very late okay some uh, two uh, four molars you get late and they are also known as wisdom tooth okay so all these teeth are known as permanent teeth and they are 32 in number now so this is all about the teeth and this is all about the arrangement of the teeth so if if I want to, so this is the, these are the six molars in the upper jaw, six molars on the lower jaw. So it makes them 12 molars and in these molars, four molars you may get late, late in your life and they are also known as wisdom teeth. Okay, so in total these are the 32 permanent teeth and you should take good care of your teeth of this permanent teeth especially because they are going to last long in your life. So now you know all about the teeth. In the next, uh, in the next lesson, in the next period we will, we will more, uh, learn more about the teeth. Thank you.